the best knowledge uh, area that I, I spend time on was the idea of decision making. So I I don't know. I assume the major still exists. Management in science and engineering still exists. But uh, I focused on something called uh, finance, finance and decision analysis. But the de- decision analysis was the part that I found most interesting because it was with a set of data under uncertainty, how do you make an optimal decision? And I stress about this on everything from cooking dinner, you know, to choosing where to go out with friends, to managing the company, like everything in my life. And what was really valuable to me was not necessarily applying equations to, you know, like, are we eating steak or chicken tonight, right? But instead, understanding the concept of expected value and understanding the concept of variance, right? How much risk am I taking? And what do I get paid to take that risk? And understanding that you always want to pick a path in life that maximizes your expected, your, your probability weighted expected value. That to me, if I were to like teach one course or, or one class, like let's imagine we had one session with college students, I would just spend an hour on the fundamentals of making decisions based on expected value. And that has changed my life. And I've noticed how many people don't necessarily think like that. And I think if you spent, you know, 30 minutes just looking up online, expected value, and just understanding how you incorporate that into your decisions of whether you're taking a new job, right? You're choosing between three new jobs. Which one do you take, right? And by the way, expected value is not always money. Expected value is utility. It's it's happiness. It's a bunch of things. And that's one of the harder things to model in your life.